3B Outdoors brought to you by our premier sponsor, Spot Hog, maker of the world's toughest archery products. Welcome back. Man, have we got a great show lined up for you this week. We're going to Kentucky where Pete Woodruff takes his very first velvet buck. Then we're going to jump over into the Buckeye State where Randy McDavid, Fess as we call him, takes a really nice buck. Then we're going on a spring turkey hunt where Fess lays some really fancy calling down to bring this old gobbler into shotgun range. I'm Freddie Neely and welcome to 3B Outdoors. bow season and uh, we're going to get things kicked off hope you're excited for another new show another new season i don't know if i'm hunting or pete's hunting we'll figure that out we're going to flip a coin probably so don't go away as soon as he pulls in we're going to get on up the road we're hunting about 10 miles from here we're only going to uh, drive one vehicle in stick with us You know, Pete gets all settled in. He's he's kind of excited that this is going to be his first time on video. And you know, the trail camera pictures did not lie. This buck comes in right on cue. They'd had a time that they'd uh, they'd been seeing this buck on trail cam pictures, and he came in. Man, this is this is a really nice velvet buck. You know, uh, Pete gets settled in, he makes a great shot on this buck. I just finally, finally got me a velvet buck, boys. I've been waiting for a long time, man. What do you think, Jeff? I like it. Huh? I like it. I like it. It's a boom, man. A pretty good hit, wasn't it? We calm down a little bit. I'm not gonna come up here. If a big doe comes in, I'll shoot it. It's too early yet. Good job, Pete. Give me some. Thank you, man. Thank you for hanging in the tree with me. No problem. You know, putting that rage exactly where Pete put it, that deer can't carry that. So they knew that the tracking job wasn't going to be very, very long. There's your big loon or not, Jeff, right there. Can you see it? He's in the holler. Yep, I see it. There it is. What 
gets it done. Matthew and Ray Broadhead, Looming Knox. We'll just, we got up top of the hill, look down here, look at the blood trail. Seen that Looming Knox, well, Jeff seen it. But there he is, boys. Jeff got some awesome, awesome footage on him coming in. Nice. Got a little dragon, not too much. That's why we shoot Matthews, y'all. Right there. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Paul Clark State Farm Insurance. Get to a better state. Cornerstone Concrete Technologies. Your concrete is our canvas. Lawrence HDS Gen 2, the fastest HDS ever. Kistler Rods, field tested and used by the pros. Nelson Outfitters, outfitting in Wyoming or Montana for trophy muleys, whitetails, elk, antelope, black bear, and mountain lion. Matthews, catch us if you can. We've hunted all year and haven't seen anything. Maybe we just need to relocate. Hey, I just contacted Mark Slagle and his agents down at Twin Lakes Realty and Auction Iron Dandridge. Man, they was honest, shot me straight, and their customer service was wonderful. That's just a short drive to Pigeon Fords. If you'd like to relocate to the Dandridge area, contact Twin Lakes Realty and Auction at markwslagle.com. Or you could just give him a call at 865-397-3540. We're asking people, why do you like Waffle House? You know what I really like best about a Waffle House? I can stop by here anytime, day or night, that I've been fishing and get good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter what time I leave in the morning or what time I get done in the evening, I can come to a Waffle House. You know what I really like about it? When I end up in the doghouse, I can always come to Waffle House and get something to eat. <laughs> Hunting is a tradition that has been in our family for decades. We started this business several years ago with one goal, to get people into the sport that we are so passionate about. Conkeys has everything you need before you hit the woods. Look into our Garmin Astro tracking collars, along with dozens of accessories and custom-built antennas to give you the edge while dog hunting. Check out our custom dog boxes, each uniquely designed to fit your needs. Don't be left in the dark. The Ball Slide is another great product, which can be found on our website. So check us out online at conkeysoutdoors.com. Welcome to the family. On this first show, we're going to take you guys to the great state of Ohio where we're hunting these huge white tail bucks with stick and string. That's just the way we like to do it. Then a little bit later on, we're going to take you to southwest Virginia where we're hunting these wild turkeys. I mean big gobblers, and they are fired up, strutting, ready to roll. It was November the 7th or 8th on my buck hunt. And we had just killed a really nice buck out of the same tree the evening before my brother had, which he's on the camera today, which is a little bit scary for me knowing he's on the camera. Anyway, uh, it was a beautiful morning, cold, about 25, 30 degrees, and uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock, cameraman says, got a buck coming in. He's coming in through this thicket. I couldn't see him, he could. So I get my grunt call out, and hit a few licks, burr, burr. I'll tell you what, you better all right. That's a pretty good deer. It's a lot better deer, you think. And sure enough, that rascal comes out of there and on the way in, he makes him a scrape, pees in it, and takes his horns and rubs it up in some bushes, and that's always exciting.
he is a nice buck. He really is. But you got to remember, guys, we had saw two or three other bucks that was actually bigger than this one. And we've got about three days left. So I'm a little skeptical, skeptical on shooting this buck. My brother says he's a good one. So I'm going to get a little bit closer look. Finally get him in about 25 yards, great range to shoot him. And I'm like, no, he's not a shooter, he's borderline. So I let him go. I get fussed at. If you've watched any of our shows, you see that we argue about just about everything, but I know how he is. He wants to shoot all the time. He wants me behind the camera. He loves to shoot, so I just don't, uh, just don't believe him sometimes on how big something is. So anyway, I, I end up, I called this buck back in the second time. He comes in, gets within about 25, 30 yards. I'm looking at him, he's so close, it's unreal. Really, I just, uh, it was so hard of a decision for me to make on whether to shoot this buck or not. So I said no again. Well, he leaves out, gets about 75 to 100 yards away from us. And my cameraman, brother, he's fussing at me again. I'm telling you, that's a good buck. He said, it's, that's at least a 10 pointer. I know it is. Anyway, we know that he's definitely a mature buck. We figure he's got to be seven or eight by the, how gray his face is. So I tell my brother, I said, if I can call him in one more time, I'm going to shoot him then. Because I thought, what's the chances of calling him in three times? Well, I get my grunt call out. Burr, burr. That rascal turns around and comes running back in. And at one point when he stops, he's looking, guys, you can see the steam shooting out his nostrils with the sunlight, the way it come across his nose, and oh, it looked good. But that rascal comes in and about swings around, comes into a nice opening about 25, 30 yards out. And uh, so I ask him, are you on him? And he says, yes. And I put the smack down on him, run a rage through the cage. The rest is history. You saw how my, how my cameraman get did after that. He shoots straight up into the trees with his camera. But guys, I didn't want to downplay this buck because he was a very nice buck. It's just sometimes when you saw others that are just so big, it, it makes it tough to on, on the decision on what you're going to do. Just grunted another good buck in. That buck was milling around down in here. We just kept grunting, grunting, and really debated on shooting him. He's one of those I wasn't for sure if I wanted to take him or not, but uh, I think it's a 10 pointer. So, uh, you know, you just don't know. Uh, we've saw three bucks here this morning, 
and you never know, it may be the last chance I get for one while we're up here and we've only got a couple days left. But if you're just there for one week, sometimes you just got to take your chances. You either take a chance or you take the, what's in front of you. And so this time, I decided to take what was in front of me. Man, he's a steep hill. We didn't go very far at all, I really don't. There he is. Guys, this, this is what we was looking for right there, sure enough. Uh, put, put the rage in the cage and shut him Fitz Matthews and um, I did the job, ain't no doubt about it. Uh, Caught him right in. Caught him it, up here in Ohio this time of year. You better not leave home without your grunt call. I'm telling you, these boys is coming in. They're wanting to fight. They're wanting to look, find does. And uh, man, I'm going to tell you spot hog sites we got are the best sites I ever thought about using. Thanks, guys. It's a done deal. We always get ice cream after we kill a buck. So we're going to go get ice cream when we get back to camp. Three B Outdoors, sponsored in part by Canaan, Ultimate UV Protection and Unmatched Clarity, Kenzine Outdoor Gear, Legends Live Over the Next Ridge, Luminox, Lighted Arrow Knot, Rage, Slip Cam Broadhead, Watson Airlock, Phil Logic, Glendale Full Rut, Plano Tackle Systems, Mycroft Media and Express Signs, National Large Format Printing Projects, and Fast Local Needs. Big Dog Muzzle Loader by Performance Gunworks. Hey, I'm Freddie Neely from 3B Outdoors. For the last seven years, I've shot a spot hog sight. It's the most durable, dependable, rugged sight that I've ever come in contact with. After several states and several critters later, I'm still greedy. So if you want to get greedy, go give Josh Johnson from Spot Hog a call. Tell him 3B Outdoor Boys sent you. Or better yet, go to spothog.com and order all their products. So you've worked hard. You've got that property that you've always dreamed of and you've built that home that you've always dreamed of. But there's just a little touch missing. You need a fence. Something to accent the property and secure your livestock. You don't want just any fence. You want the best fence available. Call Brown's Custom Fencing, 423-235-7400 or 1-800 two four nine six two seven four that's brown's custom fencing traveling down the road in search of bucks bass and beards gives me plenty of time to reflect on the important things of life hello i'm john walsh with retirement solutions in knoxville if you want peace of mind safety of principle growth potential security and lifetime guarantees give us a call our reward is helping people secure their financial future and live their dreams with a passion for service second to none. Visit our website or give us a call at 865-247-OK. That's 247-6529. Come along for the excitement of the Virginia Blue Ridge Highlands Fishing Trail. If you're a professional bass fisherman, you've already heard about this place if you haven't already been here. If you're a world-class fly fisherman for the trout, we have some of the most diverse fisheries. You can come and live bait fish for smallmouth bass. We even have muskie, pike, and all kinds of smallmouth bass that just really rock your world when they hit a topwater lure. For a downloadable map of all the locations, how to find them, go to fishblueridge.com. You ever just have one of those years where you struggled getting a turkey? Well, I did. This, last spring, I had a terrible time, seemed like, getting a turkey. And I don't know if you guys have ever used a camera before, but you put a camera and another man involved in getting these turkeys, and it really gets tough at times. Anyway, on this particular morning, it was just like basically any other morning, I guess. Uh, we, were, we stopped where we could hear a long ways. Everybody pretty much does that. And I give a hoot owl call, and I hear his turkey gobble. But we swing in to behind this big brush pile, get right out in front of it, set our decoys up right quick, 
get back in there, put all of our head net, all our gear on, make sure everything's ready to roll. And the, when the turkeys gobble again, they sound like it was actually getting a little bit closer. And I thought, wow, maybe this will actually happen this morning.
Hey, what did I just tell you 15, 20 minutes ago on the way up here, Fess? I said you're gonna get one this morning. They were in our lap. And now they put her down, baby. <laughs> God, we had a good set up here, Fess. I was about afraid for it getting any closer. Yeah. <laughs> they were in our lap. <laughs> Did you see what happened? They just kept coming in, strutting and gobbling, and working their way in. And my cameraman, he got some awesome footage. I hope you guys really enjoy this. Uh, we, we end up taking a very big mature gobbler and uh, just just beautiful day, beautiful time to be out in the mountains. Wow, what an exciting show. I told you it was going to be. Pete taking his very first velvet buck up there in Kentucky, early season, then Fess landing a smack down on one of them big Ohio bruisers. And how about Fess with that fancy turkey talk? That old gobbler must have liked it because it sure did strut into shotgun range. Well, we're about out of time again this week, folks. Join us back here again next week where we'll have you somewhere on the water or in the woods. This is 3B Outdoors, always bringing you quality hunting and fishing.